Hello guys and welcome to another video. We're going to do some more RTA climbing and hopefully we're going to see a lot of the new units I've been building. But before we begin, uh, I think on the latest video I didn't quite show a lot of the units that I've built over the time that I was gone. So I'm going to showcase them very briefly before we start because I may be picking these units in a lot of these fights and before you ask how they're built I'm going to kind of like do a very brief explanation of what they're for. Okay, let's start with haste. This haste is designed to deal with Landy because right now Landy is one of those units that is pretty hard to deal with because it's hard to get out of stealth. This this unit got a PVE buff that now uh, the bleeding effects have a 100% chance to proc and they detonate on earth units. So when you use an S3, you put three bleeds on the Landy for two turns and then it detonates them all, making sure that she gets off the stealth as fast as it possibly can, 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 can get. And... Um, I, I chose to run him on this very mean build, which is around 50% crit chance, high effectiveness for, you know, PvP, and a 3000 plus attack uh, while trying to be as bulky as possible, because once I get Alexis procs, uh, not only will I be granted a great, greater attack buff, which is going to be good for the bleeds, but also the 50% crit chance is also going to be utilized there, and it may be useful along the line, but mostly I want him to be a fire tanky unit that can provide some sustain to the team, because I've been struggling a lot with bruisers, uh, because when I take my own bruisers, they always take sustain, I never really take sustain, because I just want to finish the, the, the match fast, so I bring all bruisers, and I got, I've, I've been getting kind of, you know, some loss because of it. And because of this guy puts Vampiric Touch on, uh, Vampiric Touch heals 10% of the attacker's health no matter what. So when you hit Vampiric Touch, it's a percentual heal. And if you run him uh, with the uh, Tanky Bruisers, the healing is, you know, much better. Also, the Unhealable comes in, in clutch in a lot of matchups, matchups like um, with uh, ARAV and stuff. So let's go to the next unit. Next unit would most likely be my... Uh, uh, FRS Charon, not a finished build, most likely not going to see it today, but just see the stats there, and that's one of those units that I've been running. Uh, my speed, uh, <laughs> my speed rem on her own artifact, her only point is if they don't focus her and focus someone else right away, uh, she's going to cut and uh, put a blind debuff on everyone, or, you know, a rem RNG stuff, and that's going to be pretty, pretty useful as well. I built a Furious, now he's actually fully built, but I'm not going to use it in, in RTA or GVG until I get it maxed, Andre's crossbow. He is on counter right now, uh, which is kind of a meme because I don't have enough attack to make uh, much use of his uh, of his burn on S1. But I mostly built him because he's a crit chance imprint with a crit chance buff, and I, I get to use him with my pure attack uh, violet. And that's the boy. You are, you guys already seen him. The only thing I've changed now is that I put a lot more defense on him by dropping 200 attack. But now he's going to be actually tanky, even if he gets crit on. So that's okay. Uh, Senya, just lifesteal, regular lifesteal uh, Senya, not very, not anything fancy, the only fancy part is going to be Crown of Glory, because it grants her defense, and when they do AoEs on me, they lose souls, and they never expect it. Uh, what else have I built that I've been using? Uh, a Ravi, but I'm kind of disgusted by using this unit, because this is basically my only unit that is meta, and is meta build. But right now, in current RTA season, sometimes I need that one unit that may help me carry by soloing, right? And right now, because I've been tanking my win rate so much, I've decided to build it this way. Uh, it's not probably not the most popular build right now, but it is the meta build when she was meta uh, a couple months ago. So I'm kind of disgusted by it, but whatever, it's just an A-Ravi. Now this man, this is a god tier unit. If you guys don't have Ricardo build, ML Ricardo is crazy, like actually insane. And I'll show you today because while playing bruisers, he gives me so many wins against LQCs that you won't even imagine. So it's it's really, really broken. And then we have our Charles. Uh, honestly, he's a really big Chad. He's on this uh, Shepherd of Chaos artifact, which means that as he gets lower, he gets higher evasion up to 40% uh, and defense up to 40% as well. He's at 244 speed, currently not on immunity because I need one immunity chest from Hellraid to roll over 8 speed. And it's been kind of hard. I know, I know it feels weird, but it's been kind of hard to roll higher than 8 on a, on a, on a, a raid uh, chest. Once I do, it's going to be around 250, 246 speed, same bulky stats, and the bulky stats are really important here because I don't really want him to do the damage, I want him to be there to consistently see our push, because once he kills anyone, and it's pretty easy to kill with perception because it does a lot of damage uh, when he does like the, the, the demolition uh, proc on us one, uh, this man 
will decrease his own cooldown by one, and this thing will is going to be on a on a on a three turn cooldown. So he's he's going to keep getting attack buffs and CR pushes for the team. And you'll you'll realize it's really useful because once he gets low with this and this, he goes up to ninety percent evasion rate, and he survives a lot of attacks that people don't expect. Uh, healer Opsig, I did a video on her er, like earlier, so I've been using her, and then my snipe. Uh, my snipe god <laughs> uh, BM haste, but I have not changed that one. And I may use my Singelic Singelica as well. She's pretty meta build, but I mostly use her for for memes with dual attacks. But when I wasn't when I was when I wasn't pre banning uh, AOL, honestly, other than that, I use my Mort a lot, but only in very specific uh, situations. He's pretty pog right now. I'm just waiting on the uh, crit chance imprint so I can get him to 100% crit. But other than that, the stats are pretty you know good and and that's basically it so i'm gonna drop into rta these are the units i've built and yeah let's just see it i've been getting a lot of wins lately when i'm start when i started doing some more uh, bruiser stuff but i can show you all right sorry for speaking so fast but that's it my win rate if you haven't noticed on the last video my win rate was well above 50 percent and on my first video it was like over 52 percent or something like that but guess what I was trying to force the fire haste into multiple matchups, and guess what? He doesn't work into multiple matchups, so I lost 30 games in a row. So I still have the same points, but I had to make up for it with a lot of games. I did like 50 games or 60 games overall to get back to the points that I was, and my win my, my win rate completely tanked. But I hopefully uh, on this next one, you guys are gonna find you know haste useful. And uh, we'll see who comes out as the star of today's video. We're just going to do some random RTAs, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Okay, here's the draft. Unfortunately, he took my ML Ricardo. I really wanted to pick it when I, when I, when I pick uh, A-Ravi really early, and I would love to pick it because Strace kind of feeds into the, the whole thing, and then you one-shot the LQC. I kind of really wanted it, but at the same time, he took it as second pick, which is honestly not very likely. ML Ricardo, even though he's a very solid unit, not a lot of people use it, which is very, very weird. Uh, but yeah, like, hopefully we can actually get away with this. Okay, he goes for the Charles kill, which actually gets the kill, which is very, not unlikely, but like, it's not very common that it would happen. Okay, this skill nullifier is going to be slightly annoying uh, when my crow revives, because my crow is going to die, for sure. My crow dies here. And then uh, I revive, but then there's going to be skill nullifiers, but hopefully Charles has higher speed than that, and then uh, I'll get some out of that. Okay, hopefully I can do that. All right, let's, let's revive here. Charles should get a turn, hopefully not a Ravi. Okay, good. Okay, let's remove the skill nullifiers. I most likely should kill the um, kill the LQC, so I think that's what I'll do. I'll I'll use my craw horse on the LQC and I'll deal with the violet later. This seems to be a very nuky uh, violet, so I should be okay. Hopefully, this kills the Charlet. It should. I mean, my my craw is not the most tanky uh, because he's not fully imprinted. It would be 28k HP, but this should kill an LQC. I think it did. That's good. Um, the, the, the turn two strip is going to be pretty rough, honestly going to be pretty rough. As you can see, as a bruiser, he still does a bunch of damage through that shield. And look, they're going to try to kill him and most likely going to miss and not kill. Because he gets the increased defense as well. Well, didn't miss. <laughs> but it would have been a nice showcase of, uh, of that. Hitting a stun here on the strays would be huge, but I don't think we're going to get that. No, we wouldn't. But I still have a revive on my, um... Okay, he lands the provoke. That's a little bit, a little bit bad, because everything here is gonna strip. Even though I do have attack buff, and he doesn't, it should strip everything. Yes, I just need to get away from this, uh, from this lock, and I should be fine. But I do need to do it. I need to get away from this, uh, from this lock. I should have pushed the FCC there actually. Let's see how many turns. He has four turns till he can actually do anything worthwhile. Most likely gonna go for my crow, but he's a chunky boy, and he should survive for now. I do need uh, some CR push. Oh, that's that dual attack. I feel bad for the guy. It's very, very good dual attack there. Okay. In the end, I guess it didn't matter because with these many people dead, uh, I should be able to just S3 the strays and he would have died from full and shield. And the shield wouldn't have gone to him. Would have gone to someone else. Now he comes back. 
As long as my Croc can cycle around, uh, the Rylet shouldn't be a massive problem. It's just a matter of, can he do it? I mean, I'm thinking it pretty pretty well, actually. I'm thinking the Rylet for now really well. And that's good. I do have Soul Burn for Maid if I ever want to Soul Burn her. Okay. Dual attack, I guess that's fair enough. I got one too, so let me just uh, Soul Burn here. Okay. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good stun. But then again, I do have like 80% uh, effectiveness. This is not an F res uh, made at all. <laughs> this draft is very meta. I know, I know, I know what you guys are thinking. This, this, this draft really is very meta. I'm gonna push everyone up here because even if it goes on the maid, I think I'll be okay. But it, it is risky to do it now, for sure. Okay, it didn't go on the maid, and I don't think it kills my air heavy. Okay, it didn't. Alright, fair enough. Let's go on to the next fight. Here we go. This is the draft. Um, honestly, I think I'm going to go for a Bellion, like, ban here. Actually, uh, without the fence buff, they're not as strong. So, yeah, I'm going to go for a Craw ban here. And this one's going to be full meme draft, for sure. Hopefully we get to see Kawazu popping off. Uh, there's plenty of AoE there, and I can trigger a lot of that AoE m myself with my abilities, so I should be okay uh, proccing the guy. Alright, let's see how this goes. Unfortunately, I uh, misdrafted the Opsig. Wasn't really my intention. Okay, he puts this on. The cool thing about my uh, Ricardo is that my Ricardo still does a lot of stuff through whatever he does. That, is, that didn't really explain a lot, I know, but you'll, you'll understand in a bit. I just need to not give too much CR to this uh, thing. So, because this is a fast Bellion ish fast-ish Bellion, actually, uh, I'm going to try to go for a snipe on her. Bellions are never never really ran on um, Ephraz, so I'm going to, you know, try to pop her here. It should strip the, um, it should strip her, uh, her everything and then kill. Ooh, unfortunately she gets one of those in. Which honestly is okay, but not really required anymore. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Uh, Lulika, I kind of built her like in a new build. I kind of build her Bruiser now to deal with Charlotte because if Charlotte AoEs every turn, uh, Lulika can actually AoE every turn as well. And she actually gives quite a bit of survivability to the team. Okay, I got my, I got my thing here. I'm not sure how, how tanky this SSB will be. But I really don't have a lot of um, I really don't have a lot of uh, AOE. Oh, that's squishy. This is almost wyvern. Cause look, like I have pure attack on my guy. Like no crit damage, no crit chance. Look at the damage that she took. This is a wyvern SSB. So I'm assuming this is gonna hurt a bit more than uh, other SSBs. But I think that's okay. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I wanted I wanted to kind of kill it or kill her with the uh, with Kawazu, but Kawazu dead now. That's not that's not very hot. Okay, I need to pop a revive here as soon like as fast as possible. If I don't pop a revive very soon here, I'm 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 gonna be in trouble. Okay, I'm okay with that. She doesn't have us three yet. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't very good though. <laughs> that definitely hundred percent wasn't very good. I need to pop her here. Okay, I popped her. I don't quite get the benefits from it, but uh, I, I get to do some stuff, which is not too bad. Uh, he, the healing here is going to be ma mainly what I'm going to go for. Because the SSP should heal herself, no problem. But uh, I actually, like, losing losing my bottom unit, which I forgot what it was, was pretty bad. <laughs> not going to lie, it was pretty bad. Losing her was not good. Okay, symbol. Okay, but I still missed. Okay, that's good. It means I can S3 on her, and even though I'm an earth unit, I should be okay. Okay, that stun is expected. Okay, good. I really need to hit this. If I don't hit this, I am in big trouble. Like, I, I don't care to crit, I just want to hit it. Because mm. I can hit a lot through a miss, but she's going to lifesteal all of it. She's going to lifesteal everything back. So this is going to be a rough one. Unless, like, unless I dodge a bunch, this is going to be a rough one because she's going to heal so much. I'm not sure if she's soul burned. Oh, she didn't even use this. Hopefully I miss. Nah, I hit. All right. That's basically that. That's that. <laughs> that's over. Let's go on to the next one. Here we go. On to the next fight. The Violet Bait was very good. And uh, I think this is going to be a great showcase uh, 
to st for you to understand how strong um, the the boy is, the <laughs> how strong the uh, Kawazu is. Because what happens here is going to be pretty funny. I'm going to CR push my team. Uh, Elena is going to get CR, and when Elena has threes, it triggers the uh, Ricardo. And when Ricardo, you know, gets, uh, you know, vigor, he ignores effect resistance when doing anything. So I'm going straight to that Charlotte, and I'm going to just obliterate her because she's the strong, uh, you know, she's the strong unit here on my team. So he has he has a choice here. He either goes for S3 like this to protect his, uh, his, his rem, or, yeah, that's all he can do. And this triggers me, so this is actually quite good. <laughs> so many counters. <laughs> I've never done so many like animations for counter. So when I hit this Charlotte, normally Charlottes are not bulky enough to tank uh, four burns proccing. Because it's two burns for two turns and they explode. So now there's no RNG, it's just dead. She's removed from the game. Uh, now we just do this for, uh, for our uh, rage buff. Honestly, it's kind of a waste and it gives a little bit of room for the rem to counter. But it's worth having uh, this on. I don't think I'd do anything on this turn. I'm just gonna let the uh, Rem do her things. I don't want to touch her right now because a double counter would be pretty bad. Okay, so she gets off her thing right now, which is good. Hey, that counter is actually quite nice. Helps me heal up a little bit. Uh, I will remove the skill nullifier from the person I can remove it from. Okay, I should... I shouldn't defense break anyone right now. I think just... Uh, I can I can always soul burn next turn for this, so it's all good, and it ignores effect resistance anyway, so that's good. All right, uh, I think for now, I go for S two here. It's not going to do too much. Like I said, like my my opsig is bruiser build, like it does good damage, but as you can see, like it's not it's not a, an insane amount of damage that would uh, you know. I'm actually surprised this Rem hasn't countered a billion times. That, that's normally what I expect with the Rem, for her to go counter, 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 counter. So I guess I'm getting pretty lucky here. Okay. She gets off and she cleanses her own uh, defense break, which is okay, because they're never really uh, too uh, tanky. All right, he most likely will go for S3. This shouldn't kill the Kawazu, but it will proc the Kawazu, which means next turn I will have S3 to kill her. There it is. Now he procs, and he should have S3 on the next one. Uh, I will go for a defense break here, because I can. Okay, good. And now Kawazu, even without attack buff... Uh, oh, he doesn't have S3 yet. I guess I mistimed it. Oh, that dual attack is kind of huge. A little bit unfair. It's a little bit unfair. Don't love it. I think the safest bet here is to go for a S1 on her, because uh, even if she does counter, uh, it counters into the mischance, and that's kind of okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna kill her. Monk. Okay, now she's gonna most likely kill the Kawazu. If she doesn't kill the Kawazu, she's in trouble. Yep, there it is. Okay, but she lost uh, her demon mode, and honestly, let's be let's look a bit, let's keep, let's be completely honest here. Uh, I have a Mort, and uh, Mort most likely can one v one her, no problem. So yeah, we should be okay here. Even if she starts RNGing like crazy, it should be more than fine. Okay, I'll... I don't need to extend the attack buff, I'm just gonna go for a little bit of a heal. I'm okay with that. She can counter every turn here, I'm pretty sure it's okay. Pretty sure it's okay, because the moment Mort gets uh, his S3, which is gonna be here, uh, you know, I can just, you know, soul burn, 100% defense break, and it's over from there, but it, it, it was gonna be over from here anyway. Because Mort does a lot of damage. There it is. Alright, fair enough. Let's go on to the next fight. Here we go, on to the next fight. I picked a little bit of a maid pick, but that was uh, mostly for banning. I want them to ban the maid. I want the Kawazu to go through so I can do more Kawazu shenanigans again. There's plenty of AoE to trigger him, and none of the AoE that exists is a one-shottable uh, AoE, so that's all good. Oh yeah, but Kawazu gets banned, which means I think I'm kind of okay. Bellin is kind of going to destroy my revives, but I think I'm just going to hold it. I think I'll be okay holding it, so I'll be fine. Okay, this is this should trigger the Bellion for sure. Bellion is really easy to trigger. Alright, here we go. 
she was quite slow. Maybe she's not on ER. But I'm still gonna try to hit her. Alright, so she's gonna push the Charlotte, I believe. I don't think he would go for the provokes here with Bellion. Oh, he goes for the provokes here with Bellion. That's fair enough. Uh, this is the moment where a uh, ER made would be nice. Mine is not ER, so she will get provoked here. No, like no, no, no ifs and buts about it. She'll be provoked. Oh, she did not get provoked. That's that's actually quite strange. I'm gonna go on the Charlotte. She's gonna take a turn anyway. I want her to go before um, the crowd does. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so the Violet got hit and provoked. I think I have to maid S3 on the next turn. Okay, as you can see, even the croc can push her back, which is not a regular thing that you would see on a, <laughs> on a unit like this. But I do need to cleanse here. Okay, thank god she didn't counter then. Oh, but stop! I don't want to hit her too much. I don't want to hit her too much. Okay, this is good. Um, I don't think I blow my S3 here, but I'm quite worried about uh, the Charlotte taking the turn before me. She didn't yet, but I, it can definitely provoke my maid, which is a very odd thing to say about a maid. Okay, I have some F res. I mean, it's not like I actually have zero F res. I probably have like about around like 60, but I have more effectiveness than F res, so it's definitely not very <laughs> normal. Okay, that's good. He actually hit my 90% evasion uh, Charlotte instead of the other one. The Hail Mary here really is going to be the um, the Ravi. Okay, this should pop like two of my uh, two of my actually it pops three of my revives. Okay, fair enough. Okay, good. I just want that um, Bellion to exhaust her uh, like uh, defense buff. Because right now, as it stands, that's the main thing that is keeping me from reviving someone when the A-Ravi dies. And I really I really want to have that option. I'm going here because it's most likely the thing that I can one-shot or deal the most damage to. There it is. She's quite tanky, which is nice. Okay, I'm going to try to stun her because they never run uh, high F-Res anyway. Is, is killing this relevant right now? I don't think it is. I, th I still think I have two turns for... Uh, for um, for losing the revive here. Okay, that's quite okay. Oh, but I lose revive here accidentally because of the proc chance. Okay, that's a little bit too much, I think. Okay, what can I do here? I think it's going to S3 my Charles. Or he loses the Amelia. It's a choice. It's a choice. He has to S3 something here. If he goes for the Violet, I don't think it kills. Okay, it goes for the Charles, fair enough. It missed, but it barely killed, which is actually quite good for him, because now he, get, he gets to heal up a little bit, and that's good. But I'm going to revive the Charles right away, the moment I get the chance to, if I get the chance to, though, because the 35% chance proc chance on uh, the Bellion procced. So it killed my uh, A-Ravi. Okay, everything's dead, I think. Okay, I think I think it's all gone. Okay, we just got, we just got kind of unlucky with the turn order here. He had perfect turn order against me. I couldn't use my things like when I wanted to. Okay, I'm gonna kill this. I don't think there's a chance I win here at all. It's symbol of unity, uh, Charlotte. Um, it's not that. It's not like it's impossible, but there's a very low chance that it would happen. Very, very low chance. Especially because there's so much defense buff here. It's mostly that. Okay, it's over. <laughs> On to the next one. Here we go. This should be our last fight for today. I'm kind of worried about the Amelia pick. It's a very easy LQC push into a dark kill. Uh, so I'm most likely going to ban that. But this last pick could definitely be something that I don't want to deal with. Rylet is kind of out there as well. But I think Amelia would be worse. I barely have any AoE into this. It's not. It's not really good to go against the Stene right here. Okay, what are the consequences of running into the LQC? I think I'll just have to sacrifice myself here. 
There's not much of a choice. Uh, I mean, LQC needs to be banned then. Okay, I'll give myself the turn priority. It's most likely not going to be, uh, you know, very pretty here. I'm banning their CR pusher, but they e-ban mine too, and that's actually pretty bad for me. Okay, he gets this first. But my... My Ceres is coming... No, my, not my Ceres, my... Um, my Opsig is coming right next. Right, right, coming right up. Actually, the fact that he has three might be a good thing for me. Uh, even though I didn't get to put the attack buff on, it might be really good. Give me a sec, let's see. If this is enough to kill, it's most likely a very good thing. Okay, it doesn't kill, but I think it's enough. I think it's enough for me to deal with this. So, let's push back. It ignores effect resistance when, uh, when, when, when chills are on. So I should get my turn here. It should push the, the, um, the girl back. There it is. Alright, so for this one... I will go for the cleanse and reset because everyone, like, there's no immunity buff. So I might as well just go for the full reset because then the, um... Okay, I got the reset on her, which means she can only do one S1 into a single target, which is actually, like, very mit mitigatable damage. Okay, I didn't know he actually worked that way. I gave her, I basically gave her the thing, huh? <laughs> I gave her the thing. I don't think, do I kill this with S3? Do I go for the Hail Mary here? Because if this F Sassy gets to go, I'm going to struggle. So I think I'm just going to try to go for the one shot here. She's the only mitigation unit. I have to try. Nope, I didn't get it. Very dumb move. But I mean, she was going to do this anyway. And I'm not, really, I'm not really worried about the rest. It's just, this is overall just really bad for me. <laughs> All right, so I, I got a creation proc, which is actually quite nice. So I'm going to go again. This is actually quite lucky. Because I get to reset further. But... I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing because apparently she gets she gets it anyway, right? She apparently gets it anyway. Okay, so I lose the Kawazu and I don't have revive anymore. But she dies. Warhorn goes through and now she hits two units. Uh, I might be able to there's not enough like there's no souls on this side. I might be able to just kill the um Briseria because she's reset as well, so she doesn't get anything. Oh, but she didn't get it, she resisted, okay. Uh, that push is significant, but I think I don't think that's the way. I don't think that's the play because making it slower for me, it's not it's not what's gonna kill me here. That defense break is pretty good. Actually that defense break is really good. Push me, push me, push me. Yes. Hey, that counter is huge. That counter is absolutely huge. That counter was amazing. <laughs> I would have lost if that didn't counter there. No, actually, would I have? No, no, I uh, no, no, no. I pushed, I pushed above the 10A, and I got the 40% CR from the Dilibet. So the Dilibet, even if I didn't counter, would have killed the Briseria, and then I would have S1 the Stene, but I might have not killed with the S1, so technically, yeah, that counterattack was actually pretty clutch. And that's it. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, hopefully you got to see some of my Bruiser units that I've been building. I don't even know if we got the haste to show up, but I think we got no landy games against us today, so I guess that's, you know, okay. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot less negative because, well, a lot of, a lot of you guys in the comments said that you, you watch me because you like watching the videos because it's off-meta drafts, off-meta builds, and that is fun. So I'm not going to worry too much about getting bad RNG and losing in the game because apparently a bunch of you still enjoy just watching things happen with the, with the units I build. So I really appreciate that, and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video, and I see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.